All right, back with a regular lost phone. Normal, whatever it's called. This is the forum. This forum has two parts, one public and one VAP. On registration, everyone has spot access to the public part. Feel free to talk about any topic, but use it anonymously. Do not give personal information like your real name, home address, place of work, school, or private data. For that, we got the VAP section. I'd still be kind of iffy on using the VAP section. I guess. Oh! We're trying to find her, like, address, I guess, in the VAP section, maybe? I guess. The VAP section is a place where you can go to talk about yourself using your name or not. Upload photos yourself. Come to think of it, we could just email ourself and then be like, hey, I have phone where I give, where I give phone. But whatever. To access this part, you need a personal invitation from someone who's already here. We try to keep this system intact in order to filter out trolls and hateful people. Thank you for understanding. Okie dokie. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, VIP. Hello, Sam Thing! Please try to enter your, please enter your password. Uh, 0112? It's not gonna be one of the same ones, is it? <gasps> oh fuck, what? Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh holy shit, no. That is, that is no bueno. Okay, shit. You gotta be kidding. What? Oh no, that's that's no bueno. Wait, maybe I can do a password reset if I lock myself out? Um, frick, what could it possibly be? The game wouldn't actually lock me out like a real password thing would, right? Like that would be, that would be a bit silly. Okay, 1219, 1219, well, not you. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's see if we can find, they're all cats. Um. Cupped and cap cake. Um, where is Sam Thing? Oh, Neo, Cleo, thanks for the advice. I tried to... Oh, wait, where's your first? Oh, man, this is so much to read. Uh, hello, I'm Sam Thing. I'm 17. I don't know what I am. Okay, what's the moment? Uh... Okay. 9 2? Whoa, she's been at this for a while. Okay. Ah. Uh, father's year of birth. Oh, okay, okay. So we were supposed to get locked out. I was wondering if that was the case. Um, where is Daddy O? Daddy, where is your birth arena? Right, you're playing me to the bedroom, Dad. Happy birthday. Dad Arena 12... 1221 is Dad Arena's birth arena. Oh wait, I gotta count the freaking candles on his birthday cake or something, right? 12... Uh, it's not here! Oh! 54. Dad is 54 on... Okay, so... Hold on. Math. I have to math. This is, this is d ignore the keystrokes. I I can math. I know math. I I know all of the math. 1961, obviously, knew that. Mathed it. In fact, just wrote memorization. Remembered every possible combination of numbers. Oh wait, that's why there's a calculator isn't there. I just realized that. That's clever. Also. That's kind of a weird security question for, um, for, uh, I guess maybe it's user entered, but still. Hello, same thing. Email containing a new password. Accept. You're sending this email, new password, new password, <coughs> excuse me, is, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let me just get a little screenerino, shotterino of that. Best wishes, transit BU form rooms. Um, four, two, nine, 
4112. That is a garbage password, but uh, hobbies and free time. VIP. Oh, we're in the VIP section. Um, hello there, I'm Barbara from Colovania. Covenia. This would actually be a lot easier to read if you did not make up the town names. I am Harry from Melren. Oh, hey, that's where we are! Um, Clotide from. Clotide? Clotilda? From Dia Town. That's not a name. I, I refuse to accept that that is a name. Clotilda? Like, that's the thing on, on, on the keyboard. Hetty here, Santa Rafila. Ref okay, let's keep it simple. He's going to Transpride on December 19th. Me, I'm so sort of looking forward to it. I've been there since the 13th. Can't wait to see you again, Chloe. Okay, that is way easier to say. We're calling you Chloe now. I'll be there. I should be coming. I'll be thinking about bringing Sam thing along. We met at the LGBT Center. She's so cool. Would it be cool to add her to the VAP section of the forum? I like to meet people in person before meeting them here. Okay, fine. I'll introduce her if she comes to Transpride. Hi, everyone. So thanks for inviting me to... Oh. I guess we went to Transpride. Um, so I'm Samira. We went, met this weekend. Took lots of photos during Transpride. Can I share them here? Of course. Make sure you only post the good ones. Smiley face! I have no idea who is me. Or Sam, so to speak. Okay, that's all the pics I took. Thanks, Barbara, for taking the photo of me. It's the first time I've had a picture of Samira. It's really great. I shared them all now. So I'm going to delete them from my phone. I'm always worried my mom won't see them. She's always messing with my stuff. Lock your phone! Like, seriously, lock your phone. Um... I have no idea which photo I'm supposed to download. I mean, I think you're supposed to reply to that guy. I kind of don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just send him this one. That seems safe. Um, saw the pictures I took of Barbara. Share them all now. Photos are really cool. You should install a fake calculator. <gasps> it's an app that looks like a real calculator, but when you install it and choose a special number, you press the equal button, it opens a hidden folder where you can. Just keep whatever you want. Whoa, awesome! How come I only found that? I already deleted all my photos. I have installed the calculator to make sure she's a strong password. It's nothing to do with all. Why would you tell people that? Well, I guess you're not really too worried about your trans friends finding your secret trans friend like photo album thing. But seriously, don't give out. Even if it's for a stupid fake calculator, like never do that. But. And it has something to do with all of you. I love my photo. Great pick, Eddie. You just need to click on it. Um. Okay, so sensitive. Okay. It has something to do with all of you. Oh, I bet it's trans pride. Okay. What day? What what day is that? Um. December nineteenth. How do I? Okay. December 19th. Huh? No? What? Let me read that again. December 19th. Um. It has something to do with all of you. Um. Fake calculator. You choose a special number, and then you enter it and press the N equal button. Okay, maybe it's 1912? That has something to do with all of you. Uh, there's so many things. Okay. That's day month, right? So zero nine zero two. Okay. I I don't. Oop. Oh, yeah, it's Wi-Fi. Um. 
um, that has nothing to do with all of you. 1912 again, maybe? When was this photo taken? 12, er, 1912, 2015, I guess. Why is this just a bunch of names? Um, okay. 1912, 2015. 2015. Aw, oh, come on! Uh... I'm gonna bail. I'm just gonna look this up. What do you mean in a calculator? Zero, one, three. I don't know. The guy, the guide I found sucks. I'm gonna have to make my own guide with blackjack hookers. There we go. My life diary. Secret garden. How many chivos do we have? Oh, I'm I'm busy, my friend. <laughs> the truth. Oh, complete the game. Okay, so there is ending. I figured there would be ending. Um. Um. Okay. Sorry, distracted. I finally got my new phone working to replace the one that got stolen. <laughs> Awkward. It works alright, but I've got mixed feelings about it. I lost all I had on my old phone. Old pictures, messages. In 2016, you really better... Well, I guess 2015. But you should probably have a phone that freaking, you know, backs up online. On the other hand, I like to think there's some meaning to losing it. Maybe it's the universe telling me, Come on, it's time to start a clean slate. Take your life into your own hands. I hate this app so much. I hate this, this torn, the skeuomorphic garbage. It makes me angry. <gasps> this is even more offensive than the dating app. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just really don't like skeuomorphs. Um, on the not not anything this significant anyway. I really like material design. The Google's uh, new thing. It's just enough of, you know, just enough. You know, pizzazz and like reasonable skeuomorphism. Not like, hey, look, it's like it's got a notepad and it's like it's got the little lines and a little torn fringe. It's like, yeah, dude. It's like, ugh. Anyway, not relevant. On the other hand, I like the thing. Oh, wait, no, I already read that. Um, tomorrow there's a meeting for support group for LGBT teens. I'll convince myself to go. I went to the support group's meeting. I had to make up for something for my mom and let me go. I told her I joined a book club. She was so excited she made a cake for me to bring along. She really does everything she can to help me meet new friends. Though she knew what kind of friends I made there, I'm not sure she'd be baking many cakes. Board games meeting was great today, but Melissa was so annoying afterwards. She threw yet another fit because of Alice. I have to say it bothers me that she gets so jealous. On the other hand, I absolutely cannot have Melissa meet Alice. Alice thinks I'm Samira, but to Alice I'll be Samuel. Samuel. I'll always be Samuel to her. Wait. Doesn't Alice know she's trans? Oh, whatever. I'll have to tell Melissa someday, but for now I just don't feel like it. Plus, we've been together for three years. She probably thinks it's great Trevor. Wait, maybe this is before. I don't know. Me too. I'm head over heels for her, but I don't think she'd be okay with Samira. Uh, thankfully, Melissa doesn't want to have sex before getting married. Because honestly, I really do not want to be naked in front of her for now. I really don't feel comfortable with enough for my body for that. You should just, just, you, you could dump her without telling her. Today the support group advised me to come out with at least one person I trust. I thought I could, okay. Hold on. I, I can't deal with words that I can like, I don't know. Some of these songs, like, I feel like I'm talking over someone and that bugs the hell out of me. Some of them is just like blah. It's just like blah blah blah, and that's that I'm okay with. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I have to get back into it. Okay, I still have it open here. Yeah, I'm making my own guide. This this guide I found sucks, and I'm gonna make my own thing. I figured 
I lost place. Oh, hold on. Support. Today's support group advised me to find at least one person I, I trust. I thought I could always talk about Alice about this. Talk to Alice about this Sunday. She thinks I'm a lesbian since I told her about Melissa. She probably won't take it bad. At, she probably wouldn't take it badly if I admitted her as born to Samuel. Oh. Okay, so Alice does not know yet. What a shitty day! I guess it didn't go well. I expected to come out to Alice today during a board games afternoon meetup. Not only did I not manage to do it, I also ended up withdrawing completely. Stuck in my little shell. Lola, the stupid moron, said she had to talk to me about something private. So apparently her boyfriend goes to the same school as me. And upon seeing this class photo, she recognized me, but as Samuel. So obviously she asked questions. I tried to come up with something like having a twin the likes, but I ended up splurting something, feeling embarrassed. She told me I could tell her the truth, being all, You know, Samaria, you can trust me. The teeny bopper voice. Turns out, I told her everything. What a mistake. She took it way too bad. She told me I was a monster, that she didn't want me to come play with them ever again. I just feel like dying. Tomorrow's trans pride. So excited I can barely sleep. I, I guess she recovered. Trans pride was amazing. I felt like I belonged for the first time in my life. No one to judge me. It was great. And Covina is such a sweet city. These fake names are seriously throwing me off so much. I'd love to live there. Uh, rather than Melren. Seriously, Melren is the most bigoted city in the world. Pretty certain half the population doesn't even know what LGBT stands for. It's my dad's birthday tonight. We had a cozy evening. It's only my parents and Melissa. It was just unpleasant. We're talking about queer couples' rights to adoption. I didn't know my parents were sort of closed-minded on the topic, and apparently so is Melissa. My dad is super homophobic. I'll never dare come out to him. What a shitty day. I broke up with Melissa. Saw that coming. We're going to meet up tonight to celebrate the new year with just the two of us. I thought it was going to be a relaxed evening. I thought she was going to be too tired because of the flight. Didn't seem like the, the case, like at all. She wanted to go all out tonight. To think she always told me she wanted to wait before getting married. And all of a sudden she sends a pic of the lingerie she was going to wear tonight. I suppose she felt threatened by Alice and thought it was okay to keep me around for longer. But like, no way. I just don't feel like I can keep lying to her. But I couldn't tell her the truth either. Uh, I just noticed, like, teary. Like, ugh. Melissa's mom called. Apparently, I guess maybe they're intentional to, like, show emotional state. Yeah, because, like, angry. <laughs> it's a teeny bit. Like, in the context of the game, it's fine. But, like, if I saw a real app where people, like, wrote using this, I would... I would be... Not a happy camper. Melissa's mom called. Apparently she tried to commit suicide on New Year's Eve. Fuck, I can't believe it. It's my fault. I was so fucking idiotic. I'm the worst. Wait, what did you tell her? Oh, broke up. Well... Ah. Uh, they just broke up, honestly. Ah. Uh. I, I'm super sympathetic for anybody that feels like that, but dating is not who you are. Like, who who you're fucking is not who you are. Whether you're dating somebody is not who you are. That is not your life. You do not need that. Like, if anybody makes you feel like you, that you need that to exist, tell them to fuck a blender. Like... Ugh. It's not it's not necessarily people's fault that they feel like that, but it is so fucking stupid. And then of course there's the emotional cascade here. I'm the worst. I felt awful after hearing the news. I ended up calling Alice. I came clean. I told her everything. She was terrific. It really did me good to finally tell her the truth. But it doesn't change anything about the fact that they feel like crap because of Melissa. Shit. How could she do this? This is the kind of thing where, like, you don't necessarily know who needs somebody to talk to, but it can kind of help just to be visibly, like, not a f giant fucking bigot, frankly. <laughs> uh, I really... I assume people, like, on my Twitter and stuff know that about me. Like, well, 
I play plenty of shit that people, I'm sure, like, I, I doubt any bigots follow me for too long, let me put it that way. Melissa told me I was toxic. Honestly, I do not deserve to live. Uh, honestly, fuck Melissa. Like, shit, bitch. What's your fucking problem? Like, seriously, go to hell. You don't, you don't own somebody. I'm getting mad at this bitch. She's not even real. But fuck. I've been contacted by Loud Note who are interested in my music. I'm all joy and happiness. I signed up to a dating website today. Alice convinced me that it was the best way to think about something other than Melissa. I'm not really sold. For starters, the website doesn't seem at all open to homosexual or bisexual people. Nobody to check profiles of your own gender. I had to create two accounts to explore different profiles. Oh, that, that explains it. Yeah. I, I would not recommend any dating site that does not have any kind of preference option. I really wonder if this is a good idea. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I have had it. Okay, and now I understand. Now that I understand that this is like the emotional state, it's kind of overplayed, but I, I get the intent. I have had it. I don't know what this day could have gone any worse. First, I learned via Tio that our parents have been lying to us for years, telling us my cousin Eric to join a cult. When he really just got kicked out when his parents discovered he was gay? Ah, I hate a lot of people right now. Trying to come out in this fucked up family is out of the question. Second terrible news I got today is Alice is leaving Melrin. Aw, oh, fuck. She just got in for second semester abroad in her dream university. She's leaving very soon. My one and only support in this shitty city is leaving. I can't even bring myself to be happy for her, even though I know I should. Two days, I'll be 18. I'm not a believer. But today I prayed for something to happen. I just want something to tell me. Don't mind the others. Erase them all for your life. Don't keep anything from the present. Leave your boy wardrobe in Maryland. Throw away your phone and leave to start somewhere new somewhere else. You can just factory wipe your phone. Don't throw. That shit costs money. Just factory reset it. And you'll never know. So that's why the phone ended up missing, huh? There. We just passed midnight. I've been 18 for five minutes now. I don't have to rely on my parents anymore. I'm an adult. Wish I could say I'm a brave, independent adult person, but... It's more like a trans adult stuck in Melorin. Seriously, seems like if I stay one more day in this town, I'll do something wrong. He received one new email. Hey, Alice. Wait, what? To Alice. What the hell? Covina? What do you mean? I'm not Alice. Hey, Alice, I'm ready for the computer room of the LGBT Center. I plan to rebuild my life there. Oh, wait, this is from Sam. Okay. I'm confused. Wait, why did an email Sam sent end up in? Ah, oh, never mind. I'm writing. I think this is the ending. I'm writing for the computer room of the LGP Center. I just got there, and I plan to rebuild my life here. Okay. So she moved to Covina. It's a decision I meant to know, made on a whim, but I can't really stand my life in Melran. I was suffocating here, and you were really my only support. So, when you told me you were leaving Melran, I got so depressed. In truth, you were right. I got. I attach too much importance to dates, especially my signs for fate. I was waiting for a sign for something, and guess what? My birthday present was a motorbike. How could I not see it for a sign? Me looking for a way to leave. I was looking for going for a ride. I got away. I felt so relieved to be gone. I wanted to erase every trace of my old life so where I couldn't recognize myself. So I threw away my phone without thinking. So well, I can't call you. That was dumb. I'll email you my new number, I promise. On the other hand, my phone wasn't locked, and anyone could find it. <laughs> Awkward. I don't want people searching it. This is my only trace of my old life. An old me I can't even recognize anymore. Hey, Sam. I'm glad you were able to find courage. You were able to rebuild your life. Even if it would be very far from you from now on, I can still count on, you can still count on me for things go wrong. Don't worry about your phone. Most likely, someone will find it, erase all the data, and keep the phone for themselves. After all, it's an almost brand new phone. If it's someone with good intentions, they'll want to look around a bit to return it to its owner. When they look around, I'm sure they'll understand the reasons you left. We'll decide to erase all your data to erase every trace of your escape. Oh. Oh. So, I figured when I opened the settings, I figured erase all data. I figured that was, like, for the game. Because, like... I guess that's just kind of accidentally phone. Oh. 
I figured this was just like settings, but like the network is like slipped in there for like you know, replica did that too, but but we're really yeah. So we're erasing Sam's phone for my phone. Thanks for playing a normal lost phone. The game. I wonder. Does the game? Uh. <laughs> It's going to be a heck of a speed run. I wonder... I, I have to see what happens if he just immediately erases <laughs> the phone. Which would be kind of a... Under any other circumstances, would be a dick move. But, uh... I, I, I guess it makes sense in the end. I'm really glad the phone didn't... Like, the game didn't make me send a picture to that guy. Because I was kind of worried that was what was the intent. And that would have been that would have been creepy. I felt bad even emailing Alice. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that. Um, I, I, it's a team at force. I guess in the end they kind of do you know tie it up. It's like hey, you were snooping because you were like trying to find the person. That's fine. And hey, delete you know delete the thing. Also, I think Alice knows that somebody had the phone and was trying to be like hey, fucking delete the phone, bro. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna see real quick. He's found a phone, find the truth. Four new messages from Dad. Yeah, shut up, Dad. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, reset. <laughs> okay. Um, photo booth. You look really beautiful. Okay, yeah, I figured there'd be an achievement for sending the picture to the guy. I, I don't think I really wanna do that, though. Use the shortcut to get to the top of the bottom ten times. <laughs> There's no runoff until it runs out. Wait. I guess bookworm is just read all of the stuff. What an odd thing to have an achievement for. Use the thing ten times. I, I just... Oh, it goes down too! They were really proud of that feature, weren't they? And they were just like, hey, we should give an achievement for that. <laughs> Anyway, that was a normal lost phone. And it was, in fact, a normal lost phone.